Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at IvyMasters.com, and today we're going to look at the 12th question from Digital SAT Test 2, Module 2B. This is from the heart or set of reading and writing questions. Number 12, always read the question first, which finding, if true, would most directly support the researcher's hypothesis. We want to look to the word hypothesis in verb form in the last sentence of the paragraph, and then we see it there, hypothesize. If you see the word hypothesis, claim, conclusion, argument, assumption, or anything like that as the last word in the question, then you want to look at the last sentence. Now, it is a fallacy that you could just read the last sentence. You may be able to in some cases, but definitely not all. So we go to the passage. Before we do that, what I want to point out to you is this. Barbacenia tomentosa. Barbacenia macrantha. Um, any difficult words, you do not get extra points on test day for pronouncing them correctly in your head. So in your head, what you say? You say BT. You say BM. Let your entire focus be on exactly what the passage is saying. So let's go to the passage. In the mountains of Brazil, BT and BM, two plants in the V family, establish themselves on soilless, nutrient-poor patches of quartzite rock. So you want to be an active reader. As you read, ask yourself questions, make predictions. And at this point, you should be puzzled. Why would it want to go on nutrient-poor patches of quartzite rock? Plant ecologist Anna Arabeo and Patricia de Brito Costa used microscopic analysis to determine that the roots of BT and BM, which grow directly into the quartzite, have clusters of fine hairs near the root tip. Further analysis indicated that these hairs secrete both malic and citric acid. The researchers hypothesized that the plants depend on dissolving underlying rock with these acids as a process not only creates continued growth, but also releases phosphates that provide the vital nutrient phosphorus. So now we see why they're able to go onto nutrient poor rock because their roots have this acid coming out of them which allows them to soak up some phosphate from the rock and that's where they get the nutrients. Crazy plant, right? So let's look at the answer choices. Answer choice A. The other species in the V family are found in the terrains with more soil but have root structures similar to those of BT and BM. That does not have anything to do with the researcher's hypothesis. Hey, fun fact of other plants in the V family, but you know it has nothing to do with these particular plants releasing acid and absorbing the phosphates. Answer is B. Though BT and BM both secrete citric and malic acids, each of these species produce these acids in different proportions. What proportions they are producing has nothing to do with the hypothesis, which is they're soaking up the phosphorus from the rocks that they're essentially melting. This is crazy. Answer is C. The roots of BT and BM carve new entry points into rocks, even when cracks on the surface are readily available. That makes actually great sense because if it's getting its nutrients from melting the rock, then it's not going to go where a hole already is because there's no rock to melt in that hole or in that crack. So answer to a C looks like a great answer. We'll make sure it's not D though. BT and BM thrive even when transferred to the surfaces of rocks that do not contain phosphates. That doesn't make sense at all either because <clears throat> they're not going to go on any rocks that do not contain phosphates because they're not going to be able to get any nutrients from them. Answer to a C is your best answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these hypotheses, claim, conclusion, assumption, argument, or the like, those types of questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out our one minute video. If you go to YouTube, go to the playlists, and then go to um, Ivy Masters Learning Center on that playlist and go to Test 2 Module 2B, the harder set of reading and writing questions. Look for number 12, and then you're going to see the easier set of questions just below the harder questions. Have a great day. I meant to say the one-minute questions just below the longer questions.